Hello kids, how are you today? Today I'm back with another story. It's called Back to School. So let's get started. Back to School. It's the very first day of the school. Harleen is very, very excited to go back to school and meet her new friends and teachers. Harleen got up early morning and dressed up in her school uniform. She packed lunch and her favorite backpack which she bought few days back with her mom. Harleen had her breakfast and she asked excitedly to her mom, 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 let's go before it gets too late. I don't want to be late. Her mom had a smile on her face and she said, Yes, my darling, we are all set to go. Harleen jumped off the chair and started to walk toward the car. Harleen's mom dropped Harleen at school. Goodbye, mom, said Harleen to her mom. Harley looked at her school building. She missed her so much. She missed the building. She missed her friend during all these holidays. She started to walk toward her classroom. She saw her teacher was standing near to the classroom door with few other children. She ran toward her teacher. Good morning, Miss Rosie. Oh, very good morning, my dear Harleen. How are you, Harleen? I'm fine, thank you, Miss Rosie. Miss Rosie called all the children. Come on, children, let's go in the classroom and start our day with a very fun and playful activities. Classroom was full of colors with the new pictures and the books and the new toys. Everything was so pleasant. Harleen met all her friends, Mary, Ria, John, Neil, and her very best friend, Wayna. It was meet and greet time. Everyone wants to share their experience and feelings, how they spend their time in these holidays. After all the conversation, Miss Rosie read the story about back to school. Now it was time for everyone sat on their chair and had lunch together. After lunch, the children had opportunity to paint. Children painted flowers, cats, towers. Everyone showed their creative artwork. Harleen drew a school building. She missed her school so much. Now it was the time to go back home. Harleen mom came back to pick her from the school. Harleen said goodbye to her teacher and friends. On their way back home, Harleen told her mom, how she spent her day at school with her friends and all the learning equipment she had used during her day. It was an excited and tiring day for Harleen. Harleen is very happy to go back to her school and to meet and learn new exciting things. So that's the end. I hope you are waiting to go back to your school and have some learning and enjoy your day with your friends and the teacher. I will come back next time with a new topic and story. Till then, goodbye. Have a good day.